Hey everyone, Weston Summers here. I think this is going to be the last video of the night. We're back to the Beretta 96 here. This is my pistol. And we've done a field strip of this pistol. It's very easy to do. But I'm going to take this time to show you how to do a complete disassembly of this pistol down to just a few of the main things left, such as the mag release and stuff like that. So this is I'm probably going to shut it off when we get done because it's going to take several minutes to do this and for me to explain it. So you have to watch part two to know how to put this thing back together. All right, so with that, let's get started. And if I forget, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, as I always ask you to. All right, so with that, let's get started. Here we go. Make sure our gun is unloaded, and let's eject our magazine. Let's take our weapon, push in, push this button, rotate down on this, and take our slide apart. Just so we have as many pieces as possible laying on the table, let's go to our magazine. Take the bottom of our magazine. We want to push straight in with a pointed object, and we want to slide the floor plate forward just a hair. You want to continue forward, pushing down on it, holding it with your finger. Here's what it will look like when it slides off. We're going to lay that down up here. It'll be off camera. Let's let this come out. Our bottom is made here. You can slide this off just like this. We'll take that out of the seam. Turn our magazine over. Push down on our follower and take her out. Here's what she looks like completely disassembled and remember the really hard curve part is where you, this clip goes on to. With that, there's what your follower looks like which is automatically aligned from being the spring and we'll move on to the pistol. Let's start with our upper here or our slide assembly. Let's pull in and out. Out will come our full length guide rod followed by our recoil spring. Then we'll take out our barrel by pushing in on this, pulling forward and out. Out will come our barrel. Our barrel is completely taken apart. And as far as the slide goes, these are all pressed pins, so I don't recommend taking any more of this apart because you need a gunsmith and the gunsmithing tools to hold things in place when you put it back together. All right, let's move on to the lower. On our lower here, the first thing we'll want to do is we're going to want to remove our grip so we can see everything. Now, I've already taken the, the uh, pleasure of doing these out so they're very loose. These are Hogue over, Overmold grips on my pistol. And if you'll give me just a moment, I'm going to put all four of them in this magnetic bin right here. Let's flip her over to our other side and make sure you take your grips off. Don't lose your screws. You need them. Oh, that one got messed up a little bit. There we go. There's that one. And number four. With that, we should be able to pull off our grips and roll them off our pistol. Here's what a pair of Hogue over mold grips look like. And we have our pistol exposed. This is what she looks like. If you need to pause the camera to look at everything. And here she is. All right. Next up, let's move right here to the front of the pistol. We want to rotate this back downwards. Then we want to push in on this button, not letting go. And we want to rotate this just a hair farther. See how it moves just a hair farther there? That should give us enough room. Well, actually, when you push in, you have to pull out just a hair. I forgot to mention that. And you want to slide it over that. If you'll notice, it catches right there. You need to pull out just a hair and then it'll slide over it. As it slides over it, don't let go of your button. This will rotate and this will come straight out. Here we go, we have our slide stop. We're going to set that into our magnetic bin. We're going to turn the pistol over. This is what it looks like. Be very careful, this spring is exceptionally tiny. Pull out this out of the first hole. Here's your flow through pin and let's put that in our magnetic bucket. And then this is how tiny the spring is right here. Do not lose this spring. Set her down in your magnetic band. Okay, next, just to be safe so that you do not lose anything, let's take our pistol and let's put her in the sheet, let her, our hammer fall here. Okay, move up here and let's go to the very bottom. We're going to look right here. This is what it looks like on both sides, same thing. We're going to turn our pistol over and set her down. And while pushing in on this, we're going to slide out this pin. It may take a little bit of a hammer or a little bit of a uh, bump with a screwdriver to get it going, but you want to just barely get it going so that it comes out the other side. I'm going to give her a couple knocks here. All right, that's all it took. I just used a small Allen wrench, and that's what it looked like. 
Now this is under severe tension, so keep your finger on it. Take your Allen wrench, put your Allen wrench back in the hole here, push down with your thumb really hard, and slide her out. You'll see she's coming all the way out. When you get her all the way, just reach over here, grab it, and see if you can press in enough to pull it out. I didn't get it just far enough trying to show you on camera, so we're just going to punch her out the rest of the way while we're pushing on our bottom here. This is under high tension and it's easier if you have your hammer all the way out. There it is. That's the pin we're looking for. You'll probably get it a little easier than I did. Take this pin, put it over here. We don't lose it. Now everything's in place. We've got our Allen wrench through here. We're going to push down and we'll pull our Allen wrench out. We'll pull our Allen wrench out, it'll look like this. This is for your tactical little uh, sling or your catch goes. Take this off. That's exactly what it looks like. Set her down. Inside here you'll notice there's a spring and the spring can be shaken out. Here's a spring that puts all the tension on your hammer so you can fire your weapon. Set that in your magnetic bin. Now there's no tension on the hammer. There is a piece of metal up in here. You see, if you can see the base of it sitting right there, but it cannot be shaken out from this direction. Alright, let's move up here to the top now. Come up here to your trigger and we're going to go for this spring right here. Put one finger in here, just go ahead and trust me, put one finger in here, take a flat headed screwdriver, slide the spring to the back and very gently push it towards you or away from you, it doesn't matter, whichever one you can do better, and slide her out just like that. That is what the spring looks like. This back part locks into position right here in that little bitty hole, if I can find it again, right there, and then it will sit up into the edge and you will lock it into place. Let's take our spring and put our spring on the edge of our magnetic bin here. Next, very important note, we need to move this trigger forward while it's still under tension. This spring right here has to be over that back of the trigger. That's what gives the tension to recock it. That's, you'll know, need to know that later. As you push forward on it right here, take your screwdriver and push in on this pin just a little bit. Let this come back, that covers the pin so it can't come out, and it will have pushed this round part out right here. Holding your hammer, pull straight out, and you will have a pin that looks just like this. Let's take this and put her in our magnetic bin. Next, take your hammer, rotate her up, and kind of wiggle her a little bit. And if all goes well, you should be able to wiggle her out just like that. Here's what your hammer looks like on your Beretta. We're going to set that down. Next, look down into the Beretta. You may not be able to see it. We're going to turn her upside down. We're going to give her a little shake. And this piece of metal is orientated just like so inside the grip. You'll need to remember this. There she is. She comes right out. That's what puts the tension on the back of the hammer. And this sits right up inside here just like this. All right, lay that down. Last piece. This one, if you don't want, if you want to stop right here, that's fine because this last piece will require some type of tool or a gym clip like this. This is something I've rigged up to put it back together because that spring right there has got tension on it. But you can take it out without too much trouble if you want to put it back together. So here we go. You want to rotate the back out and you want to start wiggling it towards you. You want to start working it towards you. We're going to move over here and look at our pins. Actually, this is an internal one, so we're going to move right here to the inside to push out with our thumb. That's what it'll look like. You'll see that there's the spring right there. And as we pull this out, you'll see there comes one side, and that spring is fixing to snap. Here we go, and I'll go slow. Boom, the spring snapped. This is your trigger link connector. Pull up on it. Here's your connector. I'm going to lay that out right here. It looks like it moved over and hit the edge of the rod. At this point, I would say stop because everything else is so tiny like all these little springs or this spring actually right here that holds in your trigger pin and also puts pressure right here on the internal of your slide release are so tiny and so hard to get back in that I would not recommend going any farther. This is your weapon completely stripped and you can clean her or spray her and do all the above. And in our next video, we're going to put everything back together. But before we do that, I'm going to lay everything out right here, and maybe we can give you a good panorama view of all the stuff that came out of this Beretta pistol. So here we go. We've got our hoe grips. Here's our whole thing full of parts here. If you zoom in, you can see all the little parts and springs. We've got our magazine apart, and then we've got our upper, our disconnect, and all the other parts that go to the back of the pistol. So you're going to have to subscribe to get this next video, and we're going to put her back together. So, 
Thank you very much. Hope that helps. Here we go. Let's put this baby back together.